So for those of you that are already using ChatGPT, you might not know that there's a lot more to it. So I, and maybe I just gave you some new ideas already, which we're going to dig a little more down that rabbit hole. But if you go into your settings and beta right here, um, there's beta features. So you want browse with Bing on. You want to turn that on because it allows you to get recent data. That's 2023 and not outdated by a couple of years. You want plugins uh, activated, so you just turn that one on. And then you want to advanced data analysis on. So just turn them all on. And I'll show you what all those mean. So if I want to start over here, I'm going to hit new chat. Always make sure you're using ChatGPT4 um, because it's the most up, it's going to give you the best replies and the best data back. But when you click on that button, you're going to see some stuff pop up during, uh, under here. And I'm going to start with advanced data analysis. So if I click on this, what that allows me to do is now I can upload documents into ChatGPT. So instead of typing, I can put financial statements of a commercial property and tell it to summarize the benefits of buying the property and what I should look out for. And it could read through thousands of different pages of content and tell me exactly what to look out for. If there's legal agreements, I can tell it to simplify the legal agreements to a third grade level and tell me what I should be uh, trying to figure out with the legal documents. Um, but I can upload the information inside of here and it's going to give me data to help me as my mentor, basically. So instead of me trying to type all that stuff in, the advanced data analysis is going to take anything I put in there, um, and it's going to give me a breakdown and tell me exactly what I want to know. Um, if it's a good financial investment, um, you can even take your personal uh, finances or your credit card statements and say, what should I start doing different with my spending? It's, it's a supercomputer, so it knows anything that you can possibly imagine. Um, it takes all the data on the entire internet, puts it in one place, and figures out very complex mathematical equations and different answers to help you out with stuff. Um, what just rolled out recently, actually, before I get there, there's now a plugin. Try to get it's hard to get ahead, of, easy to get ahead of myself here because there's so much to do now. Um, has anybody heard of Canva in here? Are they using that for? Okay, so now Canva's uh, integrated into ChatGPT. So it's a plugin. If you click um, at the top here when I did the new chat under GPT-4, you can click on plugins. And that, will, that is going to, um, OK, so that's going to bring up all the plugins that you can use. I have Canva picked right now, but there's a plugin store. And literally, so many things are on here. You can use Instacart. You can tell ChatGPT, I want to lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days. I need a meal plan uh, to lose 10 pounds, and I want you to set me up with Instacart. And it'll send the orders directly to Instacart and have them delivered to your doorstep. It'll, with all the ingredients, with all the cooking instructions, everything. It can do your travel itinerary. It's connected to Expedia. Um, it's, you know, in, in this case, I have um, Canva. So I put up here, uh, let's craft a compelling Facebook ad that would make people stop scrolling and take action. Oh, actually, I, I, I did a create a Facebook ad for selling your house fast. And so it's given me a template here. And I can just go in and change the words of these. But it's creating these right inside of ChatGPT, giving me ads that I can use to sell my home. Oh, that's a furniture one. Um, but I can just go in here and change these words. And so, yeah. I, I didn't even know Canva actually started integrating with this until today. That's how fast this stuff is changing. Um, this is, so now Google, or uh, ChatGPT can hear, speak, and see. So this is just an example of it listening and speaking. Hopefully the sound works. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Start with telling a little bit about him. So that's a person asking, and this is GPT responding. Larry So anyway, I'm, we won't play a story about a hedgehog, but I can ask it questions about real estate investing, and it can be my mentor. So I can ask it what to do or what I should offer on this property. or um, You can ask it questions back and forth. You can change the voice so it uses your voice when it talks to ChatGPT. And this is just kind of cool, and it's going to, you know, you have Siri and different things, but this is more of like a, um, 
a, a much bigger data center than Siri is going to be to you. But this is like mind blowing. So check out how it can see stuff. Um, this is, um, let me blow this up. So this guy, he gave it a CRM and he uploaded a picture of it into ChatGPT. So I'm not a coder, but this guy took a picture of a CRM system and it created the CRM within seconds. All the code. So if you hire a VA, like if you, there's something that you want to build and you see it, they can actually create this for you just by uploading it the, the correct way. So it created the entire code. So if you're thinking about a product or a SaaS product or things, for me that was so complicated before. And like how am I going to do that? Because I don't do that stuff. I'm actually not very technical. I just get obsessed over certain topics. Right now it happens to be AI. But th this is what's more mind blowing because my partner Francis is constantly writing on whiteboards all the time. He's always like drawing out like things on the whiteboard. Um, they used uh, ChatGPT Vision to do this. So let, me, let me go back. What was it? So again, I'm not going like, to go through this whole thing, but it created an entire landing page by a picture of a whiteboard. <laughs> and it knew with the arrows saying name over here, email over here, to switch those around. And later in it, he X'd out one of the, the actual boxes of the funnel, and it skipped that because he knew the X means don't use that. But how amazing is this, right? So now you can actually draw something out that you want, technology, and ChatGPT can create the thing within a few seconds just by you writing it on a whiteboard. Is that crazy or what?